Good morning, modern steaders. It is a nice frosty 26 degrees out this morning. Look at the ground. Good morning, ladies. It's supposed to rain later on today and get into the upper 50s. Crazy weather. But before it rains, we want to get up to the off grid property, Lumden Acres 2.0, and get the metal roofing on the composting outhouse slash shed so we don't gotta worry about the floor getting rained on anymore. So first, we need to take care of all of our animals. I gotta cut some roofing material here. We wanna put some see-through roofing in on one of the sides, so we'll have skylights, so when we're going poo-poo on the loo, we can see better. They don't wanna go past the grass this morning. You're the one brave one. Are you ready to go back with the rest of the girls? Yeah. All right, I guess little P and Hope are telling us they're ready to go back. They've been in with the breeding box for quite a few days now. Yeah, we'll get you over. I was gonna leave them over here for three weeks or so, but they're not liking it. I was hoping they were gonna get used to it, but they're not. So I'll bring them over to the other pasture and they can hang out with their lady friends and think when they, if they go back into heat, which means they're not bred or they didn't take, then we'll bring them back over to the breeding box for another couple of days. Hope and little P want to go back to the herd. They do, I thought yep. little P liked it. She's, she's over it. I think over they're it. all over it. Hope was over it before she got there. Eat your food. The ladies are all reunited, and they think Little P and Hope smell funny. They keep giving them the sniff test, and the boys, can you hear them? Yeah, they're a little upset that we took their ladies' friends from them. There you go. Hope, wrong side. There you go. I think the girls like it. They're all back together again. It's starting to quiet down on the homestead. <laughs> Breeding season can be pretty noisy with goats. We're gonna be making some changes here in the homestead with our goat herd. We'll talk more about that in an upcoming video with all the new changes going on. But we're still gonna have our goats. Just we gotta rearrange some things. Hope they're not sniffing you like they're a little pee. How come? Did your buck not smell as bad? They won't leave little pee alone. We're gonna be using some of this clear roofing on the composting outhouse so that way we can have daylight shining through, but we don't have a way to cut it up at the off-grid property. We don't have power up there. And I like cutting this stuff with my angle grinder. And I don't have a battery operated angle grinder. I'll have to add that to my list. But I gotta cut this down to 77 inches. I wanna do that before we leave the homestead. because it kind of smells when you're cutting it this way. Thank you. 
head up to the house, have a nice big breakfast. We'll be back in a jiffy. Oh, hey, breakfast was good. Thanks for asking. Now we can get loaded up and get up to Alumna Acres 2.0, the off-grid property. Where? A little brisk out still. I don't know about you, but I am a big eggs, toast, and bacon guy for breakfast. I like over easy eggs. Dip the toast in it. Oh, it's so good. We picked up this Hano cover used for 50 bucks. It's gonna be so nice this winter. It's gonna be so nice this winter meal to keep the snow out of the bed of the truck. It's just as frosty up here as it is back at the homestead. So my goal for today is to jump ahead and get the tin on before the rain comes in. We still need to do some more trim work, but I want to get the tin on first because we're supposed to get over a half inch of rain today. And the sooner we get the tin on, the less rain we'll be getting inside to damage the plywood floor. So. We're gonna jump ahead to the tin this morning. <laughs> Look at that. How do you even just notice that? That's huge. Put your hand next to that. Oh, it's not really that big. So these tracks right here are from my truck the other day. Look at this moose track. That is a monster. Yeah, where's the That's other one? Huge. I only see one track. So they're walking up this way. There's something right here. There's something there. I don't know where he went. I'm not sure where the rest of their tracks are, but that's a big moose. <laughs> he ah. must have been coming over here and checking out your loo. He needed to use it. Is there any evidence? Hey, did he poo in your loo? Nope. Nope. We do have some game cameras up here that we need to check. I think this right here is a bed area that a moose slept in one night. It doesn't look like last night though, because it's covered with frost. I ordered the tin cut to the measurement that we need. And they gave us an extra cover sheet of brown. We choose green, but we'll keep that brown piece. We can make a lean-to or something out of it for firewood. That'll come in handy. We have our three short pieces for this side, and then the longer pieces are for that side. We're only gonna need two of these though. I ordered three, and then I decided we're gonna make the center one see-through. So I'll save that one of those for part of our lean-to or something too. figure out where we want to pre-drill our tin. So we go two inches and that'll give us quite a bit of an overhang. We still have to do our trim and stuff. Yep. So let's go four, 25, 45, 
So four, 25, 45, and 65. actually thinking now I need to start with this side get the long side done with the full three sheets of tin and then I can get the spacing on this side better because the plastic roofing is different widths so I'm gonna have to make it match the overall width of this roof match the overall width of that roof so that's what I'm gonna do first I gotta pre-drill all the other tin first So it will be 4, 18, 38 and a half, 58 and a half, 78 and a half, and then 99. So it's everything pre-drilled except for the see-through roofing. Over hot. So we need to slide. So like that, let me get up here and check it. So three inches right there. Need that more? 
push it up a little bit. Right there, uh, down. Right there is perfect. Oh, I'm missing my magnet. I'll have to switch driver bits. Oh, yeah. Out to me some. A little more. All right. Move that um, much. Jeez. This nut driver doesn't have the magnet in it anymore. So it doesn't hold it in place. That one's too big. One of you all sent up this. And I guess today's the day I'm going to be breaking into it. This nut driver has a magnet. So you don't gotta worry about your screw falling out, which is nice when you're on the roof. Hey Lou. You got a Lou with a view. Or at least right now you do. I'm getting pretty excited to have some dried in storage up here at this property. Have it to me just a smidge. Oh, back to you. Right there. Can I, do I have permission to climb aboard? Slowly. Slowly. Uh, ah! We chose putting the plastic on this side too because it's above normal head height. So if somebody's just walking by, they can't peek their head in and see what you're up to.
Can you tell a difference? No. Okay, you gotta go back the other way. I get stuck on a rib. These two edges aren't completely flushed up. Having the corrugated in the middle messes it up and you can't go exactly where you want it because you got those ribs you fall on. But I'm gonna say we're maybe this way a half an inch and I can't go any more that way, so that looks good. The other way is way off. It's yeah, it's almost like two inches over. Alright, let's see how long this ridge cap is. It is long. We need 112. And this is 126. So I gotta cut this back to 112. So I can't do this part today. We can cut that when we get back and bring it up tomorrow. We're back down below at the beaver dam area. I've trapped four beavers out of here so far. Curious to see if there's any more. I think I've gotten all the beavers out of this area out, but some people don't think so. So we're gonna keep an eye on it. We got our game camera set up and we'll just keep checking whenever we come up here to see if they've plugged up the dam anymore. The reason we're lowering this area down and trapping the beavers out is because if they flood it, they're gonna flood out our road and we can't have that. So, so far, that is looking like no more beaver activity. When we purchased this property, this dam was not here. In one of our videos shortly after we purchased the property, I'll put a link to it right here, we walked up this area and found it. It was like a foot high, and then we came back two weeks later and this dam was four feet high, and they had down low, up below the road a little bit further dammed up too, and the water was starting to come up. We had a really nasty mud puddle in the road from this water level. So, luckily, we caught it when we did, and it hasn't gotten any worse, so we just need to keep an eye on these brooks and we need to do some more exploring to see if the beavers are somewhere else and doing any kind of damage that we can't have on the property. I did a video the other day exploring this area and I was pretty surprised at what I had found being out here. I'll put a link to that video right here if you want to see it, but it's crazy the stuff that beavers can do. Well, I'm glad we got the roof on today. It's pretty soggy out right now to say the least. Favorite weather, huh? No. You love getting the eggs in this weather. No. Okay. The dogs love it. Goats are quiet because they're all inside. Maybe Hope and Little P stood outside and took a shower. He got some of that stinky buck smell off of them. <laughs> here, we'll put the feed right here. It's under cover so it won't get soggy, even though you don't mind soggy food. I'm going to say three eggs. I would since say none. None, since we didn't get any the other day. One. One. Bum, 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 bum. There is quite a few of our chickens right now in this flock molting, so that means they're losing their feathers and growing, regrowing new ones, and that takes a lot of their energy, so they don't lay a lot of eggs during that season. So that's why production is down right now. You spoiling your goats with some raisins? Yeah. Okay, you don't want one?
We are gonna have some homemade mac and cheese tonight. And my cream. I'm just gonna add some pepper and some salt. Oh, homemade baked macaroni and cheese with ham from the homestead. You can't beat that. So I'm not sure if we got all the beavers or not, or if they're just taking a little break like last time when we caught the third one. What are your thoughts? Do you think we got them all or not? I hope we did. Thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. It really helps with YouTube. We really appreciate you guys taking all the time that you do and watching these videos. And we'll see you guys right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres.